guys, today I'll be doing another video and this time it's a review video which is very exciting for me because I've never done this type of video before and the product that I'll be reviewing today is this bad boy it's Laneige White Plus Renew Series this is actually a trial kit that my mom received when she was buying Laneige stuff in the counter and at the back of the box there's actually 5 products but when I open the box there's 6 products inside that's good. So the way I'm going to be doing this review is based on my first impression and whether would I buy this product again. So let's get started. So the first product is this skin refiner and at the back of the bottle it says whitening skin refiner that readies the skin by caring for dead cells, improving skin discoloration. And my first impression of this product is actually the product smells really good and it does make my skin feel very smooth. And would I buy this product again? I would definitely consider and this is actually worth buying but I'm still very much in love with my SK2 toner. It's a cheaper alternative and works great so probably yeah. So the second product is actually this emulsion and it says moist whitening skin emulsion keeping skin brighter and more transparent. So my first impression of this product is actually <laughs> It's very hard to get the cream out of the bottle. Like I have to shake like a lot of times so that the product came out to the palm of my hand. And when I apply this to my skin, the texture is very how to say like it's very thick for emulsion and it's very creamy. No, well it's not very creamy, but it's very it's a little bit oily and it's, it feels a little bit sticky as well, which I don't really like that in a product. So yeah, would I buy this product again? Um, probably not. I'm sorry. And the third product is this essence and it says whitening essence mildly renews skin to be radiant and clear. And my first impression is actually about packaging because this is it's like a mini pump and it's just so cute. I, I just feel like it's so cute. And the texture is actually very very watery as you can see and it's not sticky at all which is a plus point for me and it's very hydrating and it smells so good and would I purchase this product again it's definitely yes I like this type of product I don't like sticky products so this is good get it and the fourth product is this cream and it says whitening cream forming of moisture protection barrier for brighter and transparent skin. And um, my first impression of this is actually I don't know, like I, I don't really have a first impression for this because my skin is already like piled up with three other layers of product, so I don't see any difference, but I'm sure a moisturizer is very important after you apply all that to seal everything in and when I apply this product at the back of my hand um, my hand does feel softer but it gives like a slight oily texture so yeah I think that's a minus point for me and would I buy this product again? probably not because yeah um, it's a little bit oily for me and the last product is this um, sunblock or tone-up corrector. It says whitening corrector which protects skin from UV and helps to restore lively skin tone. Let's just say this is a sunblock or like a base and a sunblock but I think the texture for this is very very oily. Like when I said the moisturizer is slightly oily, this is like 3 times more oily. As I mentioned before, my skin is very acne prone and I tend to look for sunblock that is not oil based because oil based sunblock can break me out although it has SPF 40 but it's too oily for me and would I buy this product again? <laughs> Definitely no! So I actually tested almost every product except this little guy right here because packaging is so cute no, I can't. Anyway, this is a sleeping pack and I've tried Laneige sleeping pack before and they work wonders. Try it. So after I apply all the products to my skin, I actually went on to apply my makeup and I just feel like my skin is too sticky 
and oily and my makeup can just slip and slide especially when I draw my eyebrow and right now I'm also afraid of touching my face because I'm afraid that my makeup can rub off so yeah that's not a good thing so that's my review on this product I actually feel really really bad for Laneige because I personally use Laneige and I love them and I, it's one of my holy grail products, but maybe not this series. So if you have a similar skin condition like myself, please stay away from this product. I'm sorry. But if you have drier skin or you live in a drier climate, do give this product a try. Maybe this is the product that you are looking for. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.